I posted on Instagram every day for seven days and here are the seven most valuable lessons I've learned. Just a week ago, I joined a community of content creators who all had the same goal as me, to grow on social media. And if it's not up by then, then we will kick your ass out of this group. At first, I remembered feeling lost, unsure of what to post and questioning if I was even good enough to start posting. But pushing myself to make content even though I was scared led to some really valuable lessons. So if you wanna save time and learn from my mistakes, these lessons will help you out a lot. Testing, testing, one, two, three. The first lesson I've learned is anyone is capable of inspiring others. This is something I really struggled with when I first started making content. In my very first video that I posted, I questioned my ability to inspire people. And after speaking authentically and just telling people things about my life and lessons I've learned along the way, they were inspired. At least that's what the comments tell me. I hope they were. You are inspiring. Whatever you went through, whatever shaped you into the person you are today, it's inspiring to someone who's also going through the same things you are. I'm really bad at this. I don't have a script. <laughs> There's so much bird shit on this. I cannot sit on this. The second lesson I learned is that community is everything. If you could find a group of like-minded people that share the same goals as you and spend majority of your time with them, you will grow naturally because they're gonna wanna grow as well. Before I joined the community, I only had one friend and his name is Janelle. He's probably my best friend and he loves making content as well. We've always wanted to find a community where everyone else is making content too, because it's very inspiring. If you're struggling to find people that have the same interests as you, join Discord communities or try looking online. And I promise it'll make the journey not only easier, but more fun because you won't feel alone. Find others, human relationship is the meaning of life, I think. Shout out to Janelle. He's like one of the most talented people I know, aside from myself. <laughs> Number three, virality is not everything. I know the more numbers you have, the better you think you are, but I got caught in this trap very early on when I had an art account, even back when I had my YouTube channel. When I got a lot of views, I thought I was doing great. I was over the moon, but you shouldn't focus on the numbers as much as making the content that you love. Basing who you are as a person on the numbers is just gonna lead to disappointment because you can make the best video you can, but the algorithm still has a play in it. So don't focus on the numbers. Don't focus on going viral. It's not that big a deal. I've gotten a decent amount of views before. It does not change you as a person. Number four, changing your environment can help more than your willpower ever could. I used to struggle a lot with getting stuff done in my bedroom because my bed is there. <laughs> Every time I hit a roadblock, I just default to laying down on my bed. That's why whenever I go to coffee shops and edit, I'm so productive because I don't have a bed. I couldn't even lay down if I tried. Well, I could still lay down, but I'll just look like a weirdo. James Clear talks about the same thing in his book, Atomic Habits. If you want real lasting change, you should change your environment and not rely on your willpower. TLDR, change your environment. <laughs> This slide is so wet. Going more in depth on that, I think making the content that you love is the most fulfilling thing that you could do. I'm an artist, I love making art, and making videos is kind of like an art to me. For me, I find the most joy making the content that I love without thinking about how well it's gonna do. If you keep making videos for other people, why even bother? If you're not enjoying it as much as you possibly can, why even do it in the first place? This is your life. You're doing this for yourself. You're not doing this for anyone else. Fuck what everyone else thinks. Do what makes you happy right now, and even if it doesn't make you happy a year from now, you can always pivot, and you can always change your content. Don't ever try to fit somebody else's standards. Oh my gosh, this slide is so wet, dude. <laughs> oh, my butt is so wet. Number six, you will not get better at something that you don't do. Now, for me, this is content creation. I always wanted everything to be perfect before I put out a video. And sometimes that meant not even putting out a video at all because I thought it wasn't perfect. Now, when this happens, it stops me from making mistakes. And if you really think about it, mistakes are the only things that make you learn. I mean, you can learn from success, but you could also learn a lot from mistakes. I heard a quote that said, a person that falls and gets up is stronger than the person who never fell at all because the person who didn't fall isn't even trying. He's not making the mistakes. So practice your craft, make mistakes, get better day by day. That's number two. I'm gonna cross you up. <laughs> Dude, it's very slippery. The last thing I learned is if you're doing something that scares you, you're probably doing the right thing because you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Like right now, this would have been very scary to do a year ago, filming in public, gassing my car. I don't think any of his neighbors like him. Right now, since I've been doing it a lot, it's not scary anymore. The best lessons are on the other side of uncomfortability. And if I never pushed myself to be uncomfortable, I don't think I'm learning as much as I really could. So embrace the fear, dive into the ice cold water neck deep and see what lessons you get from that. I promise you, you will get some lessons. <laughs> Do more things that scare you daily if you can. And um, you should be good.